Today we'll talk about the economic challenges of recycling lithium ion batteries and how to address those challenges. We'll also discuss how businesses can recycle those batteries profitably and describe the role of Argonne's Everbat model can play in this process. My name is John Harvey and I'm a commercialization programs manager here at Argonne. Now I'd like to introduce our speaker for today, Dr. Chiang Dae. Chiang is a sustainability analyst at Argonne where she researches sustainable lithium ion battery production, assembly, use, and recycling. She helped develop Argonne's Everbat model to examine the cost and environmental impact of a battery through every stage of its life cycle. Chang, we look forward to your remarks. Thank you so much, Chang, for uh, the kind introduction. Hello, everyone. Um, it's a great honor um, for me to um, share with you today our research on battery recycling. We all know that batteries are playing an increasingly important role in our lives. Take the transportation sector as an example. In 2020, there are over 10 million electric vehicles on the roads worldwide. And according to the International Energy Agency, that number is expected to reach 145 to 330 million by 2030. After these vehicles reach their end of life, the batteries in them may be reused for some less demanding applications and have a second life. But eventually, we will have to come up with solutions to deal with the batteries responsibly. Um, since the batteries contain a lot of valuable materials that um, take us a lot of energy to mine and refine, such as lithium, nickel, and cobalt, um, recycling allows us to recover these materials and then use them to make new batteries. For battery recycling, we have various technologies to choose from. And different technologies involve different processing steps, produce different products, which can be incorporated back into different stages of the battery supply chain. At Argonne's Resale Center, our mission um, in fact, I think it's the mission of anyone who attempts battery recycling is to develop technologies that can help us reduce the cost of battery recycling and ensure secure supply of critical materials. And at the same time, help us decrease the energy and environmental impacts of recovered materials compared to raw material production. So how can we ensure that we achieve these goals? At Argonne, we developed the Everbat model to inform the development of recycling technologies and a recycling infrastructure. Next slide, please. Everbat model is a battery life cycle tool. It's built upon bed pack and grid. Um, these two are very well known models also developed at Argon. Everbat allows us to estimate cost and environmental impacts such as energy consumption, water consumption, and emissions along each stage of the battery supply chain. The Everbat model is Excel-based. The user can run the model with default parameters or customize the model to fit their specific processes 
to various degrees. The model is available for download for free um, to be used by anyone. In addition to the Excel version, we understand that carbon footprint is a concern for battery manufacturers. And um, that is especially true in view of the pending EU regulation for batteries. So we are also developing a web-based version of Everbat, which is also free to use by anyone to evaluate greenhouse gas emissions for battery recycling and battery manufacturing with just a few clicks on their mobile devices. We plan to release the web-based version of Everbat together with Everbat 2022 in September. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. So um, for the Everbat model, we estimate cost and environmental impacts for cathode production and battery manufacturing from virgin materials as the benchmark. Then we model the closed loop battery recycling, which starts from collection and transportation of the batteries and also include the recycling process itself and subsequent stages that are required to incorporate the recovered materials back into the supply chain for us to make new batteries. So what can we do with Everbat? Well, for starters, um, we can use the model to compare different recycling scenarios. And we can also benchmark battery recycling against virgin material production to give us a more holistic picture of the cost and benefits of battery recycling. At the Resale Center, we use Everbat to inform our R&D efforts to ensure that the technologies and processes we develop are environment, uh, environmentally friendly and also economically viable. We are also working with a few companies um, to help them identify hotspots for cost and environmental impacts, as well as barriers to commercialization for their technologies. So I know uh, the title of the presentation is How Can We Profitably Recycle Batteries? So now I'm going to um, give you a few examples of the opportunities we have identified. With Everbat, we have um, identified battery collection and transportation as a significant cost contributor to the total cost of battery recycling because lithium ion batteries are regulated as class nine hazardous materials. And um, because of that, the packaging and transportation of these materials are very costly. We shared this finding with our sponsor at the Department of Energy and DOE then launched the battery recycling price, which aimed to encourage um, the development of novel logistic solutions in order to reduce the transportation and collection cost for batteries. We also identified that this cathode production stage is another significant cost contributor 
to closed loop recycling. With conventional battery recycling technologies, we recover bits and pieces of the cathode material in order to use these materials for new battery manufacturing we have to put these bits and pieces together to make the new cathode material this stage um, requires a lot of um, reagents and is also energy intensive in addition, it also requires specialty equipment, which is quite expensive. So um, if we can reduce the cost for this stage or even bypass this stage entirely, we will have a good chance at reducing the overall cost for battery recycling. That's why at Resale Center, and also uh, a few other researchers are currently working on direct cathode recycling technology, which allows us to recover the cathode material as is, and then um, regenerate the material and reuse it for new battery manufacturing. So I think that um, the examples um, I have to share with you today. Of course, um, we are always open uh, to new collaboration opportunities, and um, we look forward to working with you on battery recycling and also to develop a sustainable uh, supply chain for batteries. If you are interested in learning more about um, the research we do, please feel free to reach out. And um, I'm going to turn it over to you, uh, John, for questions. Great. Thank you so much again, Shang, for, for a really good talk. Uh, it looks like we did get a couple, um, well, we got a bunch of great questions coming in from, from uh, the audience. So thank you for that. And please, again, keep those coming. Because uh, what we don't answer today, we'll certainly uh, respond to via email. Um, one that came in that I, I thought was sort of a kind of a two part question. So we'll start with that one is um, our current battery designs optimized to be recycled? And then kind of a, a, a sub question of that is our current designs optimized for single use profitability? Yeah, so. Unfortunately, I think um, current battery designs focus on um, optimized performance of battery packs. So um, I don't think currently battery recycling is a consideration for current battery designs. And I think design for recycle is going to be a very um, interesting research area for basically everybody to explore. And with that, that's going to help us um, do battery recycling more profitably and also more environmentally friendly. Great, great, thank you. And then uh, one other question, looks like we can sneak one more in real quick was, um, and we've gotten this one from a few different people is, um, you know, how do we partner with you if, I, if I'm interested in learning more and working in the battery recycling area? How do, how do they work with you in the resale center? Um, well, uh, I'm not sure if I can type in uh, the link. So um, we do have the link to our resale center and the page where we, you can download the Everbat model um, on our slides. So if you go to these two websites, um, you can see, um, I think we do have contact information on these two websites. So you can reach out to us um, using the email addresses listed. Thank you again, Chang. Really, really appreciate the talk. Thank you so much, John. Thanks. Finally, if you have any questions, any additional questions or would like to learn more how to partner with us at Argonne, you can use the partners at anl.gov uh, link that's that's on this page here. Um, I believe somebody also put in the resell 
uh, website as well um, that um, that Ching was just talking about. Thank you again uh, and have a great day.